what is going on everybody it's nothing but skills and in today's video we're going to be talking about the new league it's called home league so this league lasts two weeks just make sure you guys remember that every league is two weeks long so you don't have to get all 60 stages in one week you do have a full two weeks to get these now let's go over the rewards first you guys know the rewards we usually get an arm patch right away then you get gear crafting cash weapon crafting cash seasonal cash brand cash then we get another named item cash seasonal cash recalibration and what you guys all really want is this exotic cash because it has a chance for a high roll exotic and don't worry if you don't get a high roll exotic you can re-roll it after crafting table now you also get a backpack trophy if you guys are all about that so what do you guys need to do now remember for pathway park you have to get under 20 minutes for stage 10 if you go over to stranded tanker you have to get 20 minutes for stage 10 we head over to coney island 18 minutes for stage 10 and then we do have those were all on challenge we have wall streak on heroic and this is at stage 10 you need 20 minutes the good thing about this all you have to do is get stage 5 for this week next week get stage 5 again and you will get all 60 stages now if we get into the ones that a lot of people have questions on is cleaners member bled stage 10 is 140 now a lot of people think you have to use a stinger hive no you do not you can actually use um, a skill damage build and I'll show you which one in a second then you also have the cleaners elites killed that you have to complete I recommend don't worrying about the cleaners elites killed until you've completed the missions because a lot of those missions have cleaners in them but once you're ready to make those cleaners bleed well I recommend putting on a hardwire build and then the reason why you guys want to run this type of build is because it still puts out a lot of damage to help you complete those control points. So control points are going to be the best, but putting on this hardware skill build using the mortar is going to work because look, applies bleed to status effects on affected targets. The great thing about this, the great thing about this right here is every time you hit them with the mortar, a lot of times when you're doing the harder difficulties, you're not going to kill them right away with the first one, but it will cause them to bleed. And that's all you have to do. After that, you can hit them a second time and you're most likely to kill them. But this is why this build right here is really good. And you're gonna see a moment where four, the boss, and three other cleaners are pushing me with shields. And I'm gonna get credit for four um, cleaners that I put on bleed, right? Now, the great thing about this is this hits hard, right? So not only are you gonna make them bleed, you're most likely gonna kill them on the second or third shot. And you'll see in a second how they do die. One thing you do have to keep in mind is you cannot get credit more than once per enemy. So once you make one enemy bleed, you cannot make him re-bleed. Like say like he, he's not bleeding anymore. You cannot put another bleed back on him because that will not work. Now control points are going to be the fastest way to get these two, right? To make them bleed and kill elites. Now you can always reset your control points if you have no more cleaner control points by going to the world difficulty hitting reset. I have one more... Um, cleaner one right here that I can do so these are the ones that are going to be the best remember doing it on harder difficulty is going to allow you to get more elites the less difficulty the less elites those golden named enemies you're going to get so recommendation if you're going for the elites killed make sure you complete all the missions that are tied to the home league if you're going for the um, cleaners bled well then you want to do those control points so one thing you don't want to do is try to get the times right try to get those really fast times running some type of status effect builds when you need something more like dps to get those times and those control points are going to be great for killing those elite cleaners too so just remember guys you guys have two weeks to complete this you do not have to complete all 60 stages in one week you do have two weeks so that means you only have to get 30 stages this week and then next week, you'll be able to get 30 stages again. So stage five on each level is your goal. And then stage 10, if you guys want to be above and beyond. But stage five, at least, you want to get at least 30 stages this week. Next week, get the next 30 stages. And then you'll be completely done. Now, for any of these missions, I recommend running some type of rifle build or LMG build. Those high crit, crit chance builds are definitely going to be the best. Two man groups are always the best to complete these and then anything higher than that um, I'd recommend just splitting up so doing two man groups is probably going to be your way to go. But yeah if you guys have any questions on the league if you guys are still struggling to beat these I should have some full guides for each mission um, earlier later on this week for sure. Um, I'll have that on the gaming channel if you guys want to check out that channel. But yeah we're going to wrap up this video here guys if you guys have any questions let me know. I will see you guys in the next one. Nothing but skills is out.